years now I've been thinking about I need to add a second lifeline on my boat. I only have one. It's not in bad shape. It's not great, but it's not bad. And it really didn't take me very long to walk around the marina here and see there are a lot of boats that only have the one lifeline. And there are a lot of boats that really need to replace their lifelines. I mean, just look at some of this stuff. Well, I wanted something that I could do myself. And I've seen some DIY videos on various products. And I thought, you know, to hire the boat yard to do this is going to be expensive. It didn't look that hard to do on the other videos that I've seen and from the websites I went to. Now I started looking around and I found a company, Suncor, and they make a product, oh they've got all kinds of stuff, just check out their website. I mean all the stainless steel hardware you're going to need for your boat, they've got it. So anyway I went to them and looked at their product and they have one that like I said designed just for lifelines. Now keep that in mind, it's for lifelines. It's not for lifting or your standing rig. It's not designed for that, but it is well designed for your lifelines. And it's really easy to put together from what I've seen on the, on the website here. So they're working with me on, on putting this on my boat. And let's take a look at what came in the package and all the things that go with it. Well, you can see here it's well packaged. Uh, I got the cable. They'll cut it to length for you. It's not that difficult to cut if you need to though. And then of course the lifeline kit itself, all of the parts that you need. All right. Oh and another great thing that they have, you can download their app and it runs you through how to install everything. It really looks easy and it should be. But let's see it's inside here. I'm just going to open this up. Well, so what we've got is we've got the gate eye. We've got a joined gate eye. Two turnbuckles. And the pelican clip. And while we're at it here, guys, let's just take a look at how the cable gets inserted. Of course, we're going to do a, the next video is actually installing this. But it looks nice and easy. Oops. Make sure we don't drop this when we're outside. Now this is where, so we'll put this over the cable first. The cable will come through here, come into this, and you see it opens up. Through that, into this washer. And then onto the fitting. And as that tightens up, that piece that was flexible, that will tighten around the cable. So we'll get that nice and tight tighten this and you see we have let me just get this all the way down here so you have room if the cable stretches a little bit or you know you hit something and you need to tighten it up well you've got room with this fittings to do this and especially look at these turnbuckles this is this is pretty darn substantial compared to some of the other ones. I mean the full body on it. And again you've got plenty of room here. You've got a almost an inch and a quarter on each side so that's two and a half inches that you can use to tighten things up so that you have a good secure lifeline. And that's what comes in the box. I mean a one-stop shop for this no running around trying to figure out what size you need do you need 
this flexible gate? Do you need the gate lock? Do you need the Pelican lock? It's all right here. Well, in the next video, we're going to put this together, guys. See you there. And until next time, happy and safe boating to you, your family, and friends.